Hello， 大家，今天分享的话题是雅思五月到八月的一个新的题目，叫做 a, a band or singer that you like。我们看一下可以怎么样去说吧。So my favorite band or singer, um, that's actually a hard one because, well, to be honest, I enjoy listening to music, but my music taste is Uh, quite odd among people of my age because I almost exclusively only listen to classical music or musicals.、Uh, somehow, I just find the music more soothing and comforting. And you know, if Bach,、uh, Mozart, and Vivaldi sang, I will be their number one fan. But、um, for this particular topic,、uh, if I had to choose. A singer that I like,、uh, I think it would be Jay Chou. I am sort of familiar with him.、Um, he is a Taiwanese singer and songwriter, producer. He has many hats, and he is especially popular among teenagers and young adults.、Um, the genre of his music is pop, you know,、uh, popular music.、Um, he first made a name for himself because of his singing style. His songs were in Mandarin, and yet somehow the way he sang. Makes it seem to be a foreign language. You can't hear exactly clearly what he was saying, but still you will find his music eerily spellbound, and、uh, that's why a lot of youngsters were attracted to his music because they find a different way to express themselves in his music. Well, actually, his music caused、uh, generated a lot of controversies in society at the time because it just differed greatly from the mainstream music released at the time in China. But anyhow, later the public started to accept his singing style, and also he changed a little bit in favor of a wider range of audience. Um, to me, I listened to his music when I was at school because all my friends were listening to his music, and I thought that I had to give it a try. Well, initially, I couldn't understand why he would process his songs in that way, you know, in such an unclear, ambiguous way. But then I still find it very、uh, attractive. And then when you pay attention to the lyrics, you will find that there was a lot of. Profound meaning in the lyrics, and it always aroused a lot of resonance in the audience, and that's why people really liked his music. But what really attracted me is not just his songs, but the fact that he was so talented. As I said, he was a producer. He actually、uh, produced, arranged all the compilation, harmony, and production in his debut album. So he was very, very talented, and that's why I was so attracted to him. 然后，如果你们讲这个话题呢，我觉得可以也是，就是不用只去在 focus 在他的音乐当中。虽然这个话题是在讲你最喜欢的 singer 或者是 band， 可是很多时候你喜欢一个 singer 一个 band， 并不是只是局限于他的音乐的嘛。可能你对他的人生啊、他的生平啊、他的一些经历也有也有啊一定的了解。我觉得这个也可以放在为什么你喜欢这个 singer 这个 band 里面去讲，这样内容来讲会比较丰富。因为我们在讲歌曲的时候，无非是那几个形容词啊，什么很优美啊，对吧？很 beautiful 啊，很 soothing 啊，很 comforting 啊，来去都是那几个单那那几个形容词，就是比较无趣、比较单调。反而如果你讲了他的一些其他领域的一些呃呃成就的话呢，那就可以就是比较丰满的把这个人物或把这个 band 乐队把它讲出来。然后就是我对这个题目的一个分析，希望可以